Hi everyone, this is the next video in using PAST for statistics and we will now be using PAST to run analyses comparing two data sets and multiple data sets. I will go to share my screen. And first thing, always remember to go back to your basic guide to stats, what should I be using if you're unsure about which of these tests you should look at. So we already tested for normality. We know that with the data set we're working with, some of our data were normal and some were not. Therefore, by default, we are going to use non-parametric tests. However, I'm still going to show you the parametric tests because you actually run them in the same way in PASS. It's very easy. If you have two data sets, your options are, if you have parametric data, normal data, you're going to do an unpaired t-test. However, if you have non-parametric, non-normal data, we are going to use a Mann-Whitney u-test. I've got my past open over here, and we're just going to start out comparing butterfly fish and parrotfish. So again, I'm going to go to column attributes, so that way I can input the column heading here as well, and just copy and paste, put my data in. I'm now going to highlight these. You don't actually have to highlight the names because it's saved in there. And I'm going to come to univariate. And we will be doing a two sample test because I have two samples I'm comparing. Over here, two sample tests, including t-test and man Whitney U. Click right here. All right, and it gives you, gives you our answers right here. So if I had normal data and I was using a t-test, you put all these different numbers you need right here, but we're mostly gonna be looking under t, the p-value right here, the probability that um, the means are, the differences in the means that we see are, um, okay, the chance that they're the same is 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. So there's a very, very, very small percent chance that these means are actually the same, which means that there's a very large chance that these means are significantly different from one another. So I can't remember if I said this in another video yet or not, but we typically go with a p-value of 0 0.05 for denoting significance. Because a p-value of less than 0 0.05 indicates that we have a less than 5% chance that that difference that we're observing is actually just random. It's not something real, it's just due to random chance. So that means there's a 95% chance that the difference that we're seeing is something real, that the average number of these fish there really is a difference, it's not just random. So here, the p-value that you have the same mean is very small. So that means that we feel fairly confident that those two data sets do not have the same mean. They are statistically significant from one another. However, since these data are not normal, we have to use a non-parametric test. We're gonna come over here to Mann-Whitney, and now we're going to look, so z-value for Mann-Whitney, and then we're gonna come over here at p for same median. 1.49 times 10 to the negative 6, very similar to the other number, very small. So in this case, the p-value is looking at whether or not they have the same median. Since our data are not normal, this test is not based on means, it is based on medians. But it ends up giving you the same results. So a lot of times when you run different statistics, you will actually end up getting the same results, but you need to use the right test for the data set because you will not always get the same results. This case we did. So in this case, the p-value, the chance that these two data sets had the same median is something like 0.004%, one, 1.4%. So we're saying no, these are statistically significant results. These two families of fish have significantly different medians from one another. All right, great. So that's running a t-test or a Mann-Whitney comparing two data sets. However, I now want to compare butterfly fish, parrot fish, wrasse, and damselfish. Actually, let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just do those four. I'm going to add in these two more columns of data now. All right, so now I have these four families. I'm going to highlight these again, come up once again to univariate. But this time I don't have two samples, I have several samples. So I come to ANOVA, et cetera, several samples. Okay, and here we see our results of our ANOVA. Coming down here, 
Um, the means test for homogeneity of variance from means point 0 0.033, less than 0 0.05. So the chance that there is variation in here that does, ex or, sorry, the chance that these are all the same is 0 0.03, 3% that these are all the same. So we are pretty sure that there's something going on here that they're not actually all the same. They do not have the same means. So we know that there is a difference. But now you don't know where that difference actually exists. And then you would go to use a two keys pairwise, which compare, gives you the comparison of butterfly fish to parrot fish. The p-value is less than 0.05. Again, it's highlighted in this nice peach color, so it points it out to you. Here we go. Those are statistically significant from one another. However, looking at parrot fish compared to wrasse, that p-value is greater than 0.05. Therefore, that difference is not statistically significant. Parrotfish compared to our damselfish, again, less than 0.05, so it is statistically significant. Coming down, parrotfish to wrasse, statistically significant. Parrotfish to damselfish, not significant, not different from one another. And wrasse and damselfish are significant. So if our data were normal, we would look at an ANOVA and at a Tukey's pairwise and interpret these. However, our data are not normal, so you can't actually be doing these anyway we need to use a Kruskal-Wallis test. And here you go, very simple to the point. Your p-value that your Kruskal-Wallis test is testing again for equal medians, the p-value that these data sets are the same is something very small. There is a very small chance that these are all the same. We're saying no, there is a significant difference here. Great, again, we know there's a difference, now what? You can either do a Mann-Whitney pairwise or a Dunn's post hoc. I'm going to stick with the Dunn's post hoc. I click here, and you can see it's set up very similar to the two keys pairwise. Once again, this is now comparing each individual data set to one another. You can see here, though, the data result, the results are mostly the same, but they are different. And this is why it's important to make sure you, you use the appropriate test. And in this case, Dunn's post hoc is a little bit, um, it's going to be more conservative in terms of what's actually going on, which is great because we have more significant results, actually. So once again, parrotfish and Butterfly fish are statistically different. However, in this case, wrasse and butterfly fish are statistically different as well. So that is different from before. However, we do still have a lack of significant difference between parrot fish and damsel fish. If I were to just give a summary of these results, what I would say is that there were significant differences in the median values for the abundance of fish for all of the fish families in this survey except for parrotfish and damselfish, which did not have a significant difference in their, mean in their median abundance from one another. So it's important to look at these tables and understand where the differences lie so that you're able to, in your results, explain what differences do and don't exist. All right, and I think that's it. So again, remember, these are all together under univariate. ANOVA, et cetera, several samples, and to always just come back and check if you're not sure which test you should be doing. And uh, you can always go back, check the other videos for if you need to go back on a refresher on how to do normality. And if there's another test that you want to use that's something different from what I've listed here, remember to go to the help function or to check out the past manual. All right. Thanks, guys.